Hello, I am Eleanor and today I would like, like to talk about Pinampang. Pinampang is derived from an old village that is within the district itself. The village name is Pampang, derived from the Kadazan dialect, meaning big rock. There were many big rocks found in the village a long time ago. Eventually, the term Pampang was changed into Pinampang. Pinampang is the capital of the Pinampang district in the West Coast Division of Sabah, Malaysia. With ethnic Kadazan as the majority, the municipality has virtually become a suburb of Kota Kinabalu and considered as part of Greater Kota Kinabalu area. Here are some places in Pinampang that you can visit. Firstly is the Monsopiat Heritage Village that is located in Kampung Kwai Kandazon, Pinampang. It's a living museum located 16 km or about half an hour away from the Kota Kinabalu city center. Monsopiat was a fearsome warrior who lived in the village of Kwai nearly 200 years ago. At the village, visit the Tangkop of or granary where the paddy is housed. Kotos di Monsopiat or Monsopiat's main house is dedicated to the life and times of Monsopiat and his descendants. On display are ceramic jars, paddy grinders, bamboo items, as well as the costume of Bobo Hizon Inai Bianti, a direct descendant of Monsopiat and a very senior high priest. Other interesting exhibit including the massive monolith which invokes a dozen legends, the traditional restaurant and of course Sio Domohoying of the House of Schools where all 42 trophies of Pons of Piat hang from the rafters. Next is the cultural village is located at Kadazandusun Cultural Association or KDCA Hongkot Koisaan Pinampang which is about 15 minutes drive from Kota Kinabalu City. This cultural village is especially catered for the Kazan, Kadazan Dusun tribes in Sabah and there are four major Dusun tribes in Sabah in the village. Dusun Tindal Kota Belut, Dusun Papar, Rungos, and Murut. Besides, Kedisia is also well known to host the annual beauty pageant in May which is called Unduk Ngadaw Kaamatan and attract many tourists but since pandemic occurred, the activity has been restricted and only important people can attend. Next is like other places in Sabah you can find. The roundabout here in Pinampang represent the Siga, which is Kadazan Itaya for men. This shows that Pinampang is a homeland to the Kadazan ethnic. Next attraction here in Pinampang is the Inobong substation, Crocker Range. Inobong substation is one of the substations around Crocker Range Park, which is the largest national park in Sabah with a vast mountain range. The meaning of substation here are the control posts surrounding the huge area of the protected forest far away from one another as the area is too big. There are a few substations around the Crocker Range, such as the ones located in Inobong. This Crocker Range is also well known to all hike, hiker lovers since it has beautiful view when hike uh, at the area. Next attraction is the Tamu Dongongon, Pinampang. Um, also pronounced as Tamu, is a place to sell and buy but mostly exchange goods and food. A natural market where farmers and artisans gather around to the market to, uh, about their product. From youngest to oldest inhabitants of Sabah, everyone has been at least once at this Dongongon open air market. Here in Tamu Dongongon, Pinampang, you can find all sorts of um, vegetables, fruits. Um, besides that, you can also find Kadazan traditional attire like outfits and also different kind of accessories. That's all from me about Pinampang district here in Sabah. You can also come and check out all the other attractions here in Pinampang because I can guarantee you there are a lot of tourist attraction here in Pinampang itself. Thank you for watching my video.